let's get this done. What you what you want? What you what you want? It's been a while. Um, had a lot of things going on. Let me go over the things that I did uh, that I didn't film. The first thing I did was water seal it. So I sealed the whole thing, vest, arms, all that stuff. And everybody, I see it in um, the mache group and everything else. People ask what uh, to water seal with. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can use. Um, but this is just a spar urethane that I got like at Home Depot or wherever Lowe's. And it works good. I've used it quite a bit. This is kind of a... They say it's a... They say it's a semi-gloss finish, but it's pretty glossy. So after that dried up, then I hit it with just some uh, Rust-Oleum clear matte finish to knock down the shininess of it so it wasn't so shiny. So what we got left to do, uh, i got to put hair on it. And uh, this might be weird or whatever, but years ago when my daughter had really long hair and she wanted to cut it short, I kept uh, a lot of that hair. And I'm going to put her hair... On this thing. I haven't really haired a zombie yet and it's not going to be full hair it's just going to be spots here and there. Hopefully it'll look okay. Um, I don't know I've never done it. So we're going to try it see what happens. And then I uh, went down to our local thrift store and they had a bunch of stuff for free. So I found this shirt right here. We're going to I'm going to use it. You got to age this shirt and get it dirty and grungy. Or of course we're going to rip all this up right in here. Big old rips in here so we can see this exposed rib area. Some other big rips and shreds in it. You know on the back side and around. Tear this thing up. Dirty it up I think. I'm going to wind up putting big shreds in this so you can see quite a bit of the arm. And this one I think I'm going to cut like a lot of it off where half of it's gone off of it. I don't know. Just one of those things that really cuts down a lot of the detail work we put in this thing, but um, I got it. It was free, so you can't beat you can't beat free, man. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some strands of hair on this thing, and I'm going to use contact cement. I'm going to put a little contact cement on that, let it dry up, and I'm going to put some contact cement on the very ends of the uh, hair. That I want we'll let that dry and then stick it to it and it should work and like I'm going to do maybe even thinner than this might separate that up or fan it out a little bit more something but we're going to give it a try and just see what happens with this thing like I said it's the first time I've done hair on something like this doing sparse hair so uh, we're gonna see how it turns out. I had a brush for this. Now I gotta find it again. Oh, here it is.
that doesn't look too bad for the hair. I know some of that stuff's going to pull away because uh, it didn't get contact cement all over everything. I think it'll be all right. So we're just going to leave it on that. So now I'm going to start cutting up this shirt. Starting to distress uh, that. I haven't done a lot of distressing on clothes. So once again, we're going to learn all at the same time. So I'm thinking the first thing I want to do is make some big cuts up in here because we want to expose that rib area. Not really sure how exactly I'm going to do it because I, I think I'm going to take the Dremel tool to it here in a little bit to tear more stuff up. But I'm going to start uh, just by cutting this thing up, seeing what happens. big holes there. I think we'll go ahead and take this collar, not this collar, but this sleeve. We're going to cut a big, big old hole in this thing. I'm going to take a little uh, wire brush, kind of try to spray out these edges. Might help it if I cut this first. Now I'm going to take the Dremel to it and tear up this collar some and I really need a different place to do this but I got some really watered down brown here uh, that's what I'm gonna start with I'm gonna hit it on the collar and drench it in different places uh, then we'll probably move into uh, some blacks and some different colors just to grunge this thing up uh, don't know what I'm doing really we're just going with it Okay, so now I've added a little uh, watered down black in with this brown. I'll do some more. Okay, so that dirtied that up 
pretty good. It looks pretty, uh, pretty rotten. So we're gonna throw that on and see what it looks like. So there it is. Doesn't look uh, too bad. Clothes are pretty baggy. But uh, all in all, it doesn't really look too bad. Uh, we can still see the ribs in here. You can finally call this thing done. Uh, but let's have a let's have a closer look at this. Doesn't look too bad. He turned out halfway decent. I like the hands. I like the way the shirt turned out there. kind of hard covering up uh, all the detail on the body but this doesn't look too bad so anyway appreciate you guys watching leave comments below love the comments always answer any questions if you like the uh, content like watching the stuff subscribe share it whatever can't wait to start the next project it's gonna be pretty fun so until next time keep making something from nothing